Hi, my name is David. Today I will attempt to demystify all the ways in which ArcGIS Pro can be licensed. This will be part one of a two-part series. In part one I will be going over all the ways that you can license and hopefully help you make an educated decision as to what is the right licensing model for you and your organization. And in part two, I will go into how to license ArcGIS Pro using named users uh, from Portal for ArcGIS specifically. So getting right into it, ArcGIS Pro can be licensed in essentially three different ways. We have single use licenses, concurrent use licenses, and named users. Named users can then come from two different locations. By default, most of our users will be licensing ArcGIS Pro with ArcGIS Online because that is what comes with uh, with ArcGIS Desktop. But you do have all these other options available to you. So just to make things a little bit clearer, I will bring up ArcGIS Pro. So in ArcGIS Pro, when you click on Projects under Licensing, you will see all the different ways that you can license the product under Configure Your Licensing Options. So you can see right now that I am licensed using ArcGIS Online, which is the same as ArcGIS Doc for named user, but you will have the option to select either single use or concurrent use. Now if we just kind of quickly go through what those are, so single use, as an administrator, you give a user a license and they then are independent. They are completely disconnected from your network, they have access to the software, they can go about their business. Concurrent use uses a license manager. Essentially, you as the administrator will license all of your licenses on a machine where the ArcGIS license server administrator is installed, and then your users will be opening the ArcGIS Pro and pointing to this machine where the licenses are being held. So you can essentially have people sharing licenses so long as they're not using them at the same time. Then ArcGIS Online, which as I mentioned before, is kind of the default uh, licensing method. In that case, the licenses are managed through the ArcGIS Online platform. So you would go to ArcGIS.com, sign into your organization, and decide which users get access to ArcGIS Pro and Portal for ArcGIS manages the licenses through the Portal for ArcGIS interface. However, the very important thing to note here is that in the background, Portal is talking to a licensed server administrator. So concurrent use and named users coming from Portal for ArcGIS is actually very much the same. The only real difference and the main benefit to setting things up via Portal is that you have this nice interface that is the Portal homepage page where you can decide which of your users get access to ArcGIS Pro. Whereas with concurrent use, essentially the administrator would have to log in to the actual machine where the license server is installed and manage kind of the licenses that way. Hopefully that helps clarify a few things. The next thing I would like to discuss are the publishing options in ArcGIS Pro when we talk about portals. This is not to be confused with Portal for ArcGIS. I'm now talking about the word portals, which can either refer to licensing portal or publishing portal. You can publish to either ArcGIS Online or Portal, but your licenses can come from any of these methods. These are completely unrelated. Again, to clarify, I will bring up ArcGIS Pro. So in ArcGIS Pro, still in the settings, we have this portals menu here. And what you can see here, you can have multiple different portals. Right now, if you look at these two little icons, I'm getting my license, which is the key icon from ArcGIS Online, and my publishing portal, which is the little green check mark, is also ArcGIS Online. This means that if I have a feature class in my map right now, and I choose to publish it, it's going to get published to ArcGIS Online. It also means that when I go into my catalog and I go to look for content, it is going to be grabbing content from ArcGIS Online because that is where I'm signed in right now. So if we go back to managing portals, what I mean by the difference between a publishing portal and a licensing portal is that right now I can move my publishing portal to any of these. Um, and if it's configured, I can also change it. I can also change the licensing portal. But for example, this would be my ArcGIS Enterprise portal for ArcGIS. And I could switch that to be my active portal. And what will happen then is the green check mark moves down, and what next time I go to publish an item or go to look for an item, it will now be looking at ArcGIS Enterprise, no longer at ArcGIS Online. 
the license note has not changed. Uh, this is important just because there are many who believe that they need to change their licensing model to acquire the licenses from Portal for ArcGIS to also be able to publish there, and that's not the case. I will finish this video off by simply mentioning that if you do want to switch from your default ArcGIS Online named users to either single use or concurrent use, this can be done in my.esri.com. Under licensing tools, you will find convert ArcGIS Pro named user licenses, and if you have the capability and the right licensing, you should be able to switch that license over from the ArcGIS Online named user to either single use or concurrent use. If at any point in the process of licensing ArcGIS Pro you find that in MyEsri you're not seeing the right licenses, please contact our customer care at 1-800-447-9778 or if you're struggling to license the product itself and that methodology then please contact tech support at 1-877-441-0337. If you still would like to follow the steps to license ArcGIS Pro with named user from Portal, then please join me in part two. Thank you very much.